What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today I want to share with you how I filmed this. So first off, um, before I go into any any of the things that I did, I just wanna say that this is something that you can do even if you're on your own. Some of you out there may not have a team to work with or an agency you're working with. Some of us are by ourselves and I actually filmed this whole thing by myself. And my wife was there to help, but I did this with one camera and two lights and negative fill and things like that. So yeah. That's it. <laughs> you can do this on your own. So first I wanted to go into uh, my thought process on how I wanted to film this video. I knew that it, this was for a brewery and I've actually worked for breweries before in the past. I've been a bartender. I know what the scene uh, should look like and feel like. So I wanted to go with something dark, moody, warm, as well as alive and a lot of color, um, really just bringing the, the focus on, on the product. So the way I got accomplished this was I cleared out one of our offices. I brought in one of our standing desks and brought it away from the wall so that the subject can stand behind it. And then behind that, I put up a black backdrop using our negative fill. And then to light it, I really wanted that light to be kind of a, almost like a spotlight, bring the focus on the product. The way I did that was I blocked out the sunlight in the window and then I used our Godox 150. I had it really high up on the C-stand facing straight down to kind of just, again, get that spotlight feel. To front light it, I used an Aperture 120D with a lantern light. I put the skirt around it so I can control the light a bit better, but I also wanted just a soft roundness around the can. When you're filming something really reflective, you're gonna get these this harsh lighting and you're gonna get it from studio lights. So it was important to me to kind of give it as much diffusion as I could and control that lighting around the room so that the rest of the room stayed dark and the product stayed lit. There is one shot actually where I used one more light. It was the little aperture mini lights. And I used that to illuminate the can as well as the back of the glass after we had poured the beer in. I really wanted the beer to just feel more vibrant, really just to make make you thirsty. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking, I don't know. So the way that I wrote this out, like I said from the beginning, was to give it that bar scene kind of feel. So what's the first thing that came to mind? It's the bartender sliding the glass across the bar um, to the customer. I started off with setting the can down. You could see the logo there so you know what we're pouring. And then it moves on to uh, me sliding the glass into my hand. I must have done this like, 36 times. I, I don't know why I couldn't get it right, but I really just wanted to get the logo um, right front and center. So the perfect slide logo's there. You see what we're pouring. The next thing I wanted to do was uh, give it that liveliness, that playfulness. My idea for this was to have the can explode. Normally when you go to a bar, you probably don't want your beer exploding and going all over the place. It's gonna get extra frothy at that point. <laughs> Nobody wants a wants to drink foam. But we wanted to do this just, just to kind of give it some life. And actually, we, we were super lucky to get that shot in one take. It, in tandem with this project, we also did a product photography shoot for a billboard for this same product. And uh, my wife was the subject for that. We must have gone through eight or nine beers. There's beer all over the floor. It smelled like a brewery in there. <laughs> it was a mess. But yeah, it was super fun. Anyway, we were lucky to get it in one shot for the video. So for the pour, I knew that I was gonna be completely hands off with the camera so I put it on sticks. I also wanted to again separate the glass from the background so I used the Aperture Mini Light to illuminate it from the side and from the back. I took two different um, angles on that and then spliced that together in post with a few handheld shots going up and down the glass to really get the you know the beer sides going up and down or up. They only go up. I, I wanted to get a, a detailed shot of the pour to make it look more attractive and in turn make the viewer thirsty. So the next thing I did was I brought it into post and I started cutting up clips and doing a bunch of speed ramps. I filmed everything at 60 frames per second to slow it down a bit. I didn't want it to slow it down too much, but I knew I wanted to get a bit of a slow motion feel to it. That way I can play around with speed ramps in post. Kind of giving that feel, the you know the busy bar scene, but also the relaxing feel of having a beer. Beyond that, I decided to do a bit of sound design as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth make it feel like you're there actually having the beer at the bar. So I put together a few sounds of uh, beer cracking, beer pouring, glass sliding across the table, 
things like that. So this was pretty fun for me. It's actually uh, something that I love to do. It's one of the, the funnest parts of post-production. One other thing I wanted to mention was that this project was entirely on spec. It was, we were doing the billboard ad and I wanted to play around with a product video. I hadn't done one in a while and I just was watching a lot of videos and was inspired to do something new. So I put the video together and I showed it to the owner along with uh, the billboard and he was just blown away. His exact words were, I, I have to have that. It just goes to show you that, you know, sometimes you could do a passion project or you could film or design whatever you want. Don't be afraid to put your stuff out there. The more you do, eventually someone's gonna want it. Eventually someone's gonna wanna pick it up and it becomes a success. And here's the final product with the sound, music, video, all the things. Here we go. I really wanted to share this video and, and this breakdown with you for two reasons. One, you don't need all the things in the crew to do something like this. You could do it on your own, just like I did, and it come out decent. The second reason was, you know, passion goes a long way. If you have enough passion in anything that you do, if you throw your heart and soul into it, eventually someone's gonna pick it up and give it a home. Um, so don't give up. Keep doing the things that you love to do. Keep creating, keep making mistakes. Just keep doing what you do and don't give up. <laughs> Some juice is worth a squeeze. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna head out and do something fun. You should do the same. Peace.